Install your own Wi-Fi system? Of course you can. Today we'll show you one system that you can do yourself in a snap. It'll soon be time to get outdoors and fire up the grill. Today we get advice from an expert on selecting the right new grill for you. Swimming Pool Care as DIY is rewarding and even fun. Today we'll show you common problems that you can take care of yourself with a look at pool care troubleshooting. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. Ready for a new grill? Maybe now would be a good time to get the right size grill for you. We get with an expert who has some helpful tips and suggestions. Here's Debbie Marie. I'm Debbie Marie and we are grilling today. And joining us is the Senior Vice President of Next Grill and he is going to give us some hints and tips on how you can get the perfect barbecue grill for your house. Jim, so happy to have you back on Designing Spaces. Well, I appreciate you having me here. Well, you know, I, I couldn't I couldn't wait. I'm sorry. The barbecue grill was going. I had to throw in some lunch. I figured you might as well give some to the crew, right? I appreciate it. We can add some more to it I also. would love to add some veggies. All right, so let me first start by asking you, I guess the main question, which grill do we go with? Do we go with a charcoal grill? Do we go with a gas grill? Well, excellent question. There's tons of excellent options out there, but you got to ask yourself, how often do you cook? Okay. How many people do you cook for? What type of fuel? Do you want to use charcoal? Do you want to use propane? My husband and I are in the market for a grill and this is our big concern because I'm saying we don't need anything that big and he's like, yeah, but if we have a party, we're going to need a big grill. So how do you know what size is best? Well, in reality, you can cook at a party with any, with any. three or four burner okay. grill. You just got to rotate your food. Okay. okay? Um, but you've got to look at where you're going to position your grill. You want to make sure you're far enough away from your house. Make sure it's away from little small children. Um, and make sure there's no combustible products behind it. Okay. So tell me about this model. Well, this here we're cooking on a uh, KitchenAid model. It's a 30 inch wide uh, four burner with a side burner. We have what we call dual energy valves, okay? What that is is the, the product is bought so you can use it with a liquid propane tank, mm -hmm. but it's very easily convertible if someone wants to put natural gas. There's really? a lot of homes okay. now, a lot of people are switching to natural yeah. gas out of their home okay. that we don't have to worry about filling a tank. All the KitchenAid items have what we call continuous electronic ignition each burner has its own ignition pin. Okay. And it's great in case one of the ignition pins goes, you okay. just replace one. Okay, All makes right. it easier. Battery operated on the side of the grill is where mm -hmm. the battery pack is. We have stainless steel wrap cooking grids. You can see we've only put a few things on right, here. Right, this is a good size. Yes, and this grill, I mean, if we're cooking T-bones, you can probably get eight, you know, nine or 10 New York strips. We could probably get at least 14, 15 on there. That'd be good enough for our crew, what do yeah, you think? Yeah, you know, when you're putting your food on there, you want to make sure you leave a little bit of space. Okay. So we do close the lid that he can get around it. We Should I do that it. now? Yeah, sure, right. go ahead. I love the look of this, the stainless steel. Is it just for cosmetics, or is there a reason why stainless steel is used? Well, the reason stainless steel is used, it, uh, depending on what stainless steel you use, it can be corrosion resistant, uh, retain heat, and then, of course, uh, it's very easy to clean. Okay. Oh, we like that. Yes. You know, I've heard a lot of my friends say when they're grilling, they're like, it's just not getting hot enough. What's going on there? What are they doing wrong? A lot of people, when they turn off their grill, they forget to turn off their knobs and they just turn off the tank. Right. When they turn the tank back on, the gas will flow out very quickly. And the new tanks, several years now, have a safety valve on them where if so much gas is coming out, it'll automatically shut down the output. Oh, really? Now, we talked about this. I do want to talk about the charcoal grill, and we do have one. Can we kind of swap it out and you can tell me the features of that one? Absolutely. All right. Let's go ahead and close this so it keeps on cooking. They're going to enjoy their lunch. Okay, I have to say, this is the nicest looking charcoal grill I've ever seen. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the features of this one. Well, this here is a uh, KitchenAid charcoal grill. 
It, it stays with the KitchenAid look. We've got stainless steel front panel on it. Uh, in the front panel, that allows us access to the charcoal if we want to add more okay. during the course of cooking. Plus, this area here is the t uh, front ventilation. The more air you get, the faster your charcoal will burn. Okay, I did put the charcoal in there. I had it heating up for about 30 minutes. Can I put the food on now? Because I know you said I should wait a little bit, right? Sure, absolutely. We've waited long enough, I okay. think. As you can tell, all the charcoal is a gray color, so we know that it's all cooking through. If we have a party, as long as we say we're having a barbecue party, everybody's there. <laughs> I have to ask you a question. Sometimes when we have a party, we have kids there, and they want a barbecue, and I really don't know how to answer that. What would you just, what would you say if a kid wants barbecue? Well, I mean, it totally depends on the age of the child. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in my household, I've got a 12-year-old and a 16-year-old, and frankly, we have them do the cooking. Okay, but they, know, but <laughs> they, they do the cooking, you relax, correct. is that how it works? Okay. But they've been taught how to use the grill correctly. All right, let's face it, a gas grill or charcoal grill, right. it's heat. There's spaces where you can burn yourself. Make sure you're using the right utensils. Make sure they're long enough where your hand's not over the fire at all times. Okay. You only showed us two models today. Of course, that's what we have here. But you have a whole line of models, right? Yes, KitchenAid has a, a, several models. We have okay. about 11 uh, items, anywhere from the charcoal to a two burner, all the way up to a um, you know, five burner that's literally 40 inches wide. And where can we find all that information? Well, you can find it on uh, online, okay. uh, KitchenAidGrills.com. Uh, okay. Um, pictures of all of our grills, plus the retailers that they can be purchased at. Perfect. Well, Jim, thank you so much for being here. Lots of great tips and really learned a lot. Well, I appreciate it. We had a great time. Yes. Hope everyone enjoys the grill. Absolutely. Well, like I said, lots of great information here today. And if you missed any of it, you can see the entire spot on designingspaces.tv. Just look for the video for next grill. I think what's left to do is eat lunch. I'm Debbie Marie. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. Hey, guys, lunch is ready. Grab the drink. Pools, patios, Wi-Fi for your home all add up to live in a more fulfilling backyard lifestyle. Live it up and enjoy life from your friends here at Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.